the happiest time of my life is today. That doesn't mean I haven't had amazing times in the past, but yesterday is past and tomorrow hasn't happened, so I'm focusing on the moment. Not many people know this, but I'm really good at doing the splits. I'm a bit rusty now but I was really good when I was a kid. I tried to do the jump splits recently and I have to admit I pulled a muscle, but I'm generally flexible and bendy. Since I moved to the country, I have taken up beekeeping. They are the best pets in the world because they are self-sufficient. Once you understand how a hive works and how vital bees are to the balance of the ecosystem, it blows you away. My top tip to help save our environment is do something little. You can't save the planet alone but lots of little steps make a difference. I couldn't live without the sunrise and sunsets of Somerset. One of the most important lessons I've learned in life is that positive things happen to positive people. It's totally true. The best advice I give my children is that nasty people are insecure. If other people are horrible to them, they should pity them rather than mind what they have to say. The most useful lesson in life is, losing I'm not sure you learn anything from winning. Finding yourself back down on the floor when you have fallen, that's where your strength comes from. The most embarrassing moment of my life was when I had to give an impromptu speech at an award ceremony. I thought I was presenting the prizes but when I stepped onto the stage, they asked me if I was all set for my 20-minute speech. It was excruciating. I lost my mother when I was 10 and my overriding memory of her is sitting on her lap, having a cuddle and feeling safe. She was warm, kind, soft and gentle, and those are the qualities I try to have as a mother with my own children. I'm most proud of my boys, Billy, 17, Charlie, 15, Rafferty, 13, and 12-year-old Lori, of course. They come out with such wise thoughts, it blows me away and I wonder how they can be my children. My greatest wish, is that there was a form of exercise I enjoyed. Children just do exercise because that is part of life and they see fun in jumping on and off a wall, but as an adult you have to force yourself and it becomes a chore. The one thing I still want to do in life, is write a book. I'm writing one at the moment about the lessons I've picked up in life and I definitely have a children's book in me. I'd also dearly love to do more voice work, especially as a character in an animated film, as my kids would be so impressed. Webcelebs at nearer.co.uk or call us direct 0207 29